welcome to my channel, Megan Victoria. If you're new, hello, welcome. My name is Megan. I'm a pro hair makeup artist and I put out two videos a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So today I just want to sit down and like play with some makeup. You know, some of my favorite things, some old things, some new things. I want to do something in my style. I feel like lately I've been doing a lot of like theme makeups and like really having I can't say I had a plan, that's such a lie, but like I have an idea or a concept of what I'm doing. Today I just wanted to like sit down like a regular girl and just put makeup on my face, just something I like, something that suits my skin tone, that makes me feel beautiful, and just like a I'm feeling myself kind of vibe. So if you want to learn all my little secrets to achieving this look, then please just keep on watching. Alright guys, let's get started. So I am going to start off with some lip balm. This is like the bougiest lip balm ever, but it's so pretty. Like look at it. It's from Estee Lauder, but it's just like pink and gold and just so freaking cute and I'm kind of obsessed with it and I can't stop using it. Um, this is why packaging is like a marketing genius's dream. But yes, love this. I've already put skincare on as always and I want to also put on some of our flawless filter from Charlotte Tilbury just on kind of the high points of the face okay so today I'm gonna to be using the Tante Idol foundation from Lancome so this is in the shade 230 buff I'll just take probably two pumps of that and I'm going to apply little dots to the face and then I'll just take my sponge Alright, so there's our foundation applied. I think it looks really, really nice. I actually used this foundation a couple days ago, and I had done, like, some intense skincare before I used it, so my face was, like, really red and burning, and so this on top, it was, like, not sticking, and I was like, oh my god, is this the foundation? But no, it was totally the skincare, because now when my skin is settled, I think this looks really, really nice. I think the finish is really nice. It's very, like, a natural... It's like a natural finish. It just looks like skin, but it's really pretty, and I actually really like it. So, amazing. Um, now, we shall do some shaman concealer. So, let's do that. Little under the eyes. And I found my little pot of it, so I don't have to use the stupid liquid anymore. The liquid's not even bad. I just, like, I don't know. I love thick, heavy things under my eyes, because I just want as much moisture there. And then I'm going to also make sure I take it into the inner corners as well. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to go in with my Make It Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This is the one in shade 21. Not going to apply too much concealer, so just kind of a little bit under the eyes to lift the high points, and then just a little bit on the nose bridge and a little redness around the mouth. And then I'm going to also use a tiny bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Concealer just directly under the eye just because I find it's just such a full coverage concealer I like that kind of extra bit of coverage near the under eye area and then you can take your sponge and just blend that out I just take the leftovers and I just press that across the eyelids before we go and set anything I also want to add a little bit of cream contour this is the Charlotte Tilbury cream contour and I haven't used this in a while but I remember when I did the video I really liked it so I wanted to give this another go um, I thought that it looked really light in person but on camera it looked really great so I just kind of want to try it again and kind of see what I think because I thought it looked like when I was looking at the footage I was like oh that made a huge difference but in person it just blended out so seamlessly like it blends out beautifully but it's like almost like it disappears so I just kind of wanted to see how it looks. See on camera, it looks pretty again. But it's like invisible on in the skin. It's like a really interesting formulation. But like that's also a good thing. Because it gives you like that contour, like the result of contour without it looking like you have contour on your face. Like yeah, it looks really pretty on camera. Like I think it's just really pretty. I don't know, I like it. Because we haven't in a while, I'm going to go in with a tiny bit of my It Cosmetics. The reason we haven't is honestly this tube like rolled under my bed and I couldn't find it. So I was like, well, I guess we can't use it. But now that she's back, we'll just pop a little bit under our eye area. Little extra brightening. Never hurt anyone. I really like this foundation. I really love the way the skin's looking. It looks really nice. All right, so to set our under eye, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Press Magic Loose Powder. Loose, it's magic powder. And I'll just tap this underneath the eyes really lightly and then I can just kind of go around the center of the face tone down the shine powder is so pretty under the eyes like it's just so soft like just big fan big fan I've definitely been back on my hula kick so we're gonna go in with our hula bronzer 
and just take that I love to take it on just a giant brush and I'll just swirl this all around the perimeter of the face and just gives us a really beautiful warmth and glow and a little down the neck for blush, I'm still really into the Buxom blushes. I think they're so pretty, but they're very pigmented. So just like, you only need a little touch and then just pop that on the cheek. And they really like to stick where you place them. So it's like you kind of place them and then just like even blend it with your powder brush. Just cause like they do, they wanna like stick. The time it more, bring that a little higher on the cheek. And then I've also been layering my blush. So I'm gonna just take a tiny bit of my Gold Rush blush from Benefit. It smells so good. Like I could just oh, love it. So I'll just take a little bit of that and I just love the kind of the reflex it gives. And I'm just going to lightly kind of sweep that on the cheeks. It's definitely a more gentle pigment, but it just gives this really beautiful kind of goldy finish that I just think is so beautiful. And then for a little bit of highlight, loving my Pixie as always, I'm just going to take kind of the champagne -y kind of color and just apply that. I just like been applying it with my fingers. I just feel like it melts into the skin so nicely and it's not too overpowering. Then you can just tap it in the high points that you want it. And then just to finish off the face, I'm just gonna go into my NARS Press Powder. Love this powder. And I'm just gonna give myself the tiniest bit more coverage just where I feel I need it and just kind of tone down those hot spots. I like doing the loose powder first cause it's a gentler powder. And so then it's just like when you really need that extra punch, then the uh, pressed powder is really excellent. All right, so this is our face and makeup complete. I just think it's so beautiful, natural, but it still has some sculpting elements. So, you know, you feel like the face has dimension. And I just think it's really, really pretty. Um, all right, so for eyebrows, I'm gonna actually, you're gonna stay for my eyebrows. I've had so many people ask me how I'm doing my eyebrows lately. Well, it's actually been the same, but you guys ask how I do my eyebrows, so I wanna show you. Okay, so the first product I've been using is the Give Me Brow from Benefit. So all I like to do just go through the brows and this is just gonna tint them a tiny bit just so number one if you're blonde you can see your brows but it just gives them also a little bit more like texture because you're putting a product through and so then it just kind of makes them thicker so you're not over applying like fill-in product because you can already kind of see your brows and they already have a fullness to them and then just go kind of against the green to get product through. Alright, so now I feel like I actually can see my eyebrows, which is great. I'm gonna go in with my Pure uh, Brow Arc Nemesis pencil in light. I love this pencil. So I'm first gonna go in with the triangular tip and I'm kind of unfortunately gonna raise my eyebrows so I get a lovely line across my forehead and I'm just gonna kind of feather in that front part. I just like to kind of fill in this line so it's like straight. And I can fill in some more volume. And just because we've already put that like give me brow through, we need less of this product, which, you know, gives us more of a natural look. And now for the tail, I still, I kind of like a different brow shape. So I give myself kind of a new brow shape. So I just take this, and I'll drag this out a little bit and then down. So it connects, but you definitely can see I'm drawing in the brow shape for sure and then elongate the tail next show and then this other side which I don't use a ton but it's just super thin so if you just want to go over kind of the area that you drew in it'll just help it keep it really really clean and precise and then you can take that small little end too and just like fill in more feathery brow like strokes and then just to finish and set it in place, I like to take my Benefit Brow Setter. You sweep the product across first with like the paddle brushy part. And then I like to brush the hairs straight up. La eyebrow. All right, let's quickly do this side. This is a whole other ball game of nonsense. Well, not my best brow day, but definitely not my worst. But this is a pretty general overview of how I do my brows in some form or another. I'm definitely not one of those per people who get those their brows like perfect every day. Absolutely not. And I have to just say, when I like was super up close to the mirror, I noticed I was trying to make them like more perfect. Um, and they definitely are a little bit thicker than I usually do. But that's fine because actually I think they kind of look good. Like I said, they're fine. They're good enough. But let us move on to the eyes. So we already have concealer on our eyes, so we'll just tap that out really quickly. All right, so for today's generic makeup look, we're first gonna go into our Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette, 
one of my absolute faves so i'm gonna grab the shade passion fruit and i'm gonna mix it with beaming this gives me that perfect rosy transition shade and i just love it because it's so warm so beautiful i'm just going to blend that into the crease just taking a clean brush and just blending out those edges I'll just take another little blending brush and I'm going to grab this shade right here, Henna, super again, warm, warm, warm orangey brown. And I'm just going to press that on to the outer corner and blend that into the crease. And then again, the clean blending brush just to blend out those edges. While we're still in this palette, we can just go into the shade Humble, which is just kind of like a matte white and just highlight the brow bone. Then I'm going to switch over to my Visionary palette, and this palette breaks on me all the time. I don't know why. So I'm just, I'll show you. I'm going to take this shade, shade Dreamer. I probably would, I wouldn't travel with this palette, but I do love it so much because the colors are so stunning. But I'm just going to take this shimmery shade just with my finger and pop that on the lid. So pretty. Now you can just take your little brush, just go into that henna shade. And I'm just going to kind of encapsulate that shimmer with a little bit more of that warm brown in the crease. And then blend it with your clean brush. For the lower lash line, I'm just going to take this copper pencil. This one is it called Double Life by Urban Decay. It's a really pretty bronzy pencil and I'll just run that on the lower lash line. And then you can even take it in to the waterline. So I'm just going to do that off camera because it's really hard to sit here and do that. <laughs> And you can just take a little brush, blend that pencil out, and then we'll go back into that little henna shade. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that pinky guy too, and we can just set the pencil in place. And I'll just take that blending brush again, just give it a soft blend because I just want this look to be very soft. Now this is the perfect time to add mascara and lashes, or if you have lash extensions like I currently do, just going to give those a really nice brush just so they're nice and fluffy and pretty. But I will for sure pop some mascara on the lower lashes. So for that, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Mascara. I love this mascara. Okay, so for lip liner, I'm just going to be using my MAC Boldly Bare. And then to fill it in, I'm going to be using my NARS Skin Tight velvet matte lip pencil the finish of these are so pretty so i definitely wanted to use them it's just like the prettiest natural pinky shade it just makes the lips look so nice oh i love it it's like this creamy look you can add gloss or do any of your finishing touches but since i sit under hot lights and film i'm just gonna add a tiny bit more pressed powder to the hot spots of the face but other than that children this completes our final look Alright guys, so there we have it. I really hope you enjoyed. I really like how this turned out. I kind of feel like a prom girl though. It is a little prom-y. I feel like if, if I had a client in my chair who was going to prom, this is how I would do their makeup. 100% like the shimmer with yeah, definitely would, but I love it, so it's fine. It, that's all that matters. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in Thursday's video. Bye! Mwah.